Oh, but he's putting the pressure on 11th hour. He's forced them to tack away. Oh, he has not seen, he has not seen 11th hour racing team there. This was the moment, 11th hour racing team realizing, realizing that they needed to turn, but ultimately being stuck in that position and Guyo Environment Team Europe with the bear away, it all happening a little bit too late to actually clear the stern of the American boat. Now, there is an enormous impact on what this could mean for the race. It seems like everybody on board was out of the way of the collision, but what a collision here. That is some serious damage. Just like everything in the bow. So let's get the sails packed up, yep. everything in the bow, then we'll shut the keel bulkhead. So then eventually the back of the boat's empty. Yeah. Yep. Are you okay? Yep. Everyone's alright. Fucking half broken. No, it's not over. Fucking wide. Sapphire, I'm so sorry to have to yeah. get, get you here right now. Um, I mean, I guess first of all, just to just describe what happened. Um, oh, honestly, absolutely lost for words. We tacked on our ley line, sailing on starboard for 20, 30 seconds. Charlie was screaming starboard at Gio, and they just didn't respond. The net result is they put their boat firmly in the side of ours, and the bowsprit actually went right through the right through the boat and came out on the inside. So. Uh, Honestly, we're, we're really, really lucky that nobody got hurt. Charlie was sitting just there in the hatch, so thankfully everyone's okay. Personally, I refuse to admit this is over. This, uh, obviously, we'd rather be out there leading the race on the water and trying to win it on the water, but at this stage of the game, I think it's just, yeah, right now it's our priority to find out what our options are, how long this might take to repair or, or what the redress implications are, and, uh, yeah, we'll do that as a team now and, and hopefully move forward. I'm so sorry, guys. Thank you, Ben. Did you see us? No, it's the last time, just yeah. in front of the gym. I'm so sorry if we can do uh, something now. Yeah. Everybody's on your boat is okay? Yeah, 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 yeah everybody's okay. We're gonna gather and make a plan, and then if we need anything after half seven, we'll, we'll let you know. Yeah, for sure. So we get together, we make a plan of what we'll do. For sure. And then we'll come and for sure, no problem. No problem. We do yeah. what you want. Yeah. That'll be yeah. when we get started. Thanks. 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 We, we will assess. I think right now we just stabilize the situation. We'll get our team together. Um, we'll get our, our tech guys onto it and see what the 
see what can be done. But I think uh, obviously the most important is that everybody's okay, which is good. Boats back at the dock, and now we just need to uh, see what the see what the next step is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no idea. We're uh, our, my my team is working on it. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was helming and um, and I just see the boat up here in front of me and uh, yeah it was too late I don't know if if to try to bear away or if to try to luff up uh, was a, the good decision but uh, I think for sure the contact was not possible to to exit but yeah I take all, uh, all my responsibility it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's our fault so for sure uh, and uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm yeah, I'm a lot of shame now. Uh, just after a big help from them, uh, we we break them both. So <laughs> that's shit. <laughs> that's shit, and uh, I hope they will. Uh, yeah, they will win this race. <laughs> It's okay. Hey. It's okay. Sort of. Just sorry. Yeah. Obviously, we were, um, you know, involved in an unfortunate incident with Gio um, during the import laps of the final leg start here in uh, the Hague, and um, we just rounded Mark three. We we're on our way to Mark four. Um, we just tacked onto starboard, establishing right away, um, and. It became clear uh, quite quickly that um, something was awry, and uh, we did our best to avoid a situation that was quite clearly unavoidable. You know, we ended up having to suspend racing. The boat is in a state we don't know what state that is, um, but all of those are are details. I mean, the important thing, um, you know, for everybody is that everybody is physically safe and okay. And what was a pretty um, you know, traumatic situation, um, and exactly where we go from here um, is a little uncertain. Uh, we're still in the diagnostic phase, just trying to figure out the extent of the damage, what that means, what the timeline is, um, you know, what our fate might be from a competitive standpoint. Um, but, you know, the dust hasn't really settled on any of this yet, so um, we're just kind of processing the information as it becomes available. I want you to know where you are, just call me. Okay. I will do. Yeah, I'll let you, I'll, I'll stay in touch. Thank you. Can see all the still on board? Oh, I'm right here. In his own time, when he comes off, that's going to happen. Yeah, we're going to be in touch. Yeah, we're I don't know a single person on our team that would have imagined this outcome when they woke up this morning. So uh, this race has twists and turns in it. That's what makes it such a challenge and ultimately so rewarding when you get to the end. Um, we have had experience with these types of situations in the past, and that's certainly coming um, into good use right now. Uh, so, you know, we, we have a crisis plan. We plan for these situations, and uh, the biggest thing from my perspective is making sure that everybody stays calm, stays focused, and does their job. I guess the one thing I'd just add is that the, the GEO guys came up to, uh, to us on the dock. They were incredibly apologetic. Um, I don't, you know, know exactly what happened on their boat, but regardless, I think, you know, they, they're um, really heartfelt uh, emotions from them and, and uh, you know it's a, they, they demonstrated good sportsmanship this afternoon and uh, I, I hope that everybody keeps that in mind as they reflect on the situation holistically. It's not a, it's just one chapter. Towards the end. It's okay. So, so, okay. I'll get there. I was a lot like you an hour ago. <laughs> well, I know the story's not over, but, um, you know, this is certainly just one chapter. Um, it's a chapter very, very close to the end, um, but it's not the conclusion. Um, you know, what the future holds, I, I, I'm not sure, um, nor am I in a position to speculate. Yeah, yeah.
But, you know, the last three years of this campaign, the last decade of my life, it's not going to end like this. So we'll figure it out as it goes along. I'm sure I'll speak for all the spectators when I say to have our racing crew, good luck, good luck, good luck from the bottom of our heart. I hope you get it about mended. This race um, has a way of testing people um, in different ways, in various ways, um, physically, mentally. Um, and this is a test for our team, but there's no team that um, I'd rather be on, that I'd rather have behind me. Um, you know, if anybody can figure this out, um, it's, it's, it's us. I, I genuinely believe that. And um, we'll just have to see what that process looks like.